This Sunday marks a grim anniversary. Four years since the station fire struck and changed hundreds of lives. Tonight, a survivor who heard the voice of an angel shares his story. Eyewitness News reporter Wealthy Joe has more of tonight's street story. This, this. When Adam Florio's on stage. <laughs> Come out on stage and you get a laugh from the crowd. It's a real good sense of accomplishment. You think, oh, wait. True life keeps his nerves out of the picture and his mind focused on his role. She wasn't seeing anyone it happened nine plays ago. I know exactly what they're feeling right now. Adam wasn't sure what he wanted to do with his life when he walked into the station with his sister to listen to some rock and roll. And the stage was like right over here, and I, we were like right in this area. After the fire started, I got knocked down like this, my glasses went flying. They were suddenly separated. I thought she escaped because she left before me. In the darkness, in the smoke, it was a voice. It was this beautiful, perfect whisper in my right ear. It was just this incredible, peaceful feeling that just came over me, and I, I wasn't here anymore. I didn't, I didn't hear the people screaming. I was just, I was just going to let myself go. It must have been my guardian angel. Thoughts of his family made him decide not to let go just yet. He felt his way to a window. And with the help of a stranger in a black cap. I think right there. That's you, you're supposed to be right there, yeah. He escaped. Rachel, Rachel, where are you? He never found Rachel. And as he looks at the video or revisits her cross, he remembers how losing his sister made it the worst day. And how surviving made it the best day as he finally began chasing his dream of being on stage. Usually I have a lot of butterflies just before I go out there. And a lot of times actually I'll use the motivation of if I was in the station fire and I can escape that, I can do this. You can die so easily and then you only get one chance. And I say you better make the best of it while you're here and with the time you have. He hopes to make a living in the limelight as he studies theater at CCRI, and he tells us after what he survived, he will never lack motivation.